buddy in like a muddy uh, particle tutorial really quick gonna be going over some cinematic particles um, with particle world and particular in case you don't have uh, one of each or whatever but I already got this uh, 3d texts put in here particles of death and uh, if you want to know how to do that check out my 3d text tutorial I'll put that in the description um, somebody really quick asked uh, how do I make it like fade away like this we'll just add a simple uh, simple choker and then choke it from zero to whatever it takes to uh, get rid of it it's kinda cool anyways let's get right into it so it's not too long let's make a new solid black is fine we'll call this particle world first up two since I already have one um, you should come with CC particle world comes with After Effects, so let's go ahead and drag that in. Um, right now we'll take uh, the grid, set it to off. We'll set the birth rate down, I think I use 0.5 because we don't want too many. Longevity, um, we want this to last our whole comp, so let's just set it to 10 seconds. Um, let's go into the producer, alright, so let's make this pretty wide on the X. Set it down on the Y and then increase it on the Z. So it's pretty pretty wide out there and stuff. Alright. And then let's set the Y position down. Let's offset it until you can't see it. Because our physics, we're gonna have negative gravity. So we'll set it to negative point one. So now they're floating up. Alright, so we'll set the animation to twirl. And I think that's what I used. Alright, let's go to particle. Particle type, we'll change it to a faded sphere. Burst, they're kind of big. Burst size to 0.1. Death size to 0.1. Or maybe even 0. But kind of fades them out. Uh, let's change the color to like a it's like light blue, grayish, to a darker blue, gray. Something like that. And um, let's see. One last thing. We're going to go to the options at the top. Go to rendering. And force motion blur. Okay, okay. So we kind of got these uh, slight lines. I don't know if you can see them. But motion blur makes it look a lot cleaner. I think. And um, you don't have to use these for intros. You can actually use them for uh, cinematics. I think they look pretty good. I'll be going over that in a little bit, but this is basically what we got so far. Just some, uh, almost like like fireflies or something flying around, the little bugs. What are they called? Gnats, right? Now they don't start right away, so if you want that to start right away, just slide it over so that there'll be uh, particles born already. And then that's particular world. Now. I would highly suggest getting trap code particular because it's a lot better. Let's make a new solid, call it particular. I'm going to add a two because I already have one. And we'll go in here and type particular, trap code particular. If you want to go get this, I'll send a link in the description to check it out too. And yeah. Alright, so first emitter. So let's set this down to about 20 particles per second. Change the emitter type to a box so we can spread this out again. And set the Y down to zero and then Z spread that out. About 1500 for each is pretty good. Alright, and then pre run, that's like if you want them born without uh, moving this over. So if you want them all born, just go to pre run, drag it to 100, and then it starts. Okay, um, particle, let's change the life up to 10 seconds. Uh, size, let's bring that down to like 2. It used to be tiny. Let's go to physics, and this is where the magic happens. Gravity, negative 10, I think. Looks okay. Let's go to air, and let's go to turbulent field, and let's affect the position. So if I drag this up, so what happens if I solve this? 
you start kind of wiggling. Now they're wiggling too fast, so change the scale from 10 down to 2. So they get affected, but they don't wiggle so much. So that looks pretty nice, I think. Um, let's go down to rendering, and let's turn on some motion blur. And um, let's change the shutter angle to like 720. Really get that blur going. And uh, you, I don't know if you need it, but you can always use the op opacity boost to kind of boost it up a little bit, like three or five I use. And then last part, visibility, no, world transform. Offset the Y so it's underneath us. So we don't actually see the particles being born. They just kind of float up. And then so, and so that, this is basically what we get. Some little particles floating around. Now they look pretty similar, particular in uh, particle world, but seriously guys, I would get particular. It's the bomb. And uh, there you go for that. Now if you want to use it in a cinematic, um, so I have like, uh, it's going to be slow. Damn it. Alright, so I just have this like little slow approaching thing. So I'm going to copy my particular layer. Paste it over here. So you can't really see it because it's on low quality, but um, we got some particles floating around. Now I might make them just a tiny bit bigger just because uh, it's not with a black background. So I'll go into the particles and maybe change it to 4. Eh, it's too big. Three. Alright. Now to make them a little bit more realistic, since the camera is moving forward, the particles should be coming at us and hitting the camera. So what we can do is go into physics and change the wind Z position or Z value. So if we set it to a negative number, you see they come they come flying at you. Let's see. Might need a lot more than that. And if that's happening, I think we might have to change the world transform and offset the Z further away so the particles are actually coming at us. That looks kind of cool. Let's see how that looks. Oops. Yeah. Um, derpy derpy derp. Yeah, you don't have to do this, but I mean, if the camera's moving, you might want to make the particles look a little bit more realistic. You know, coming, flying at the camera. But let's just take a quick look. And it's kind of slow, but looks all right. So if you uh, enjoyed this tutorial, let me know. I'll probably make another cinematic tutorial uh, in a couple weeks if I think of some uh, other nice particles to show you guys. Um, yeah, check out the description, like the video please, and leave a comment. I love feedback. Thank you.